welcome back to yet another holiday video. This is becoming somewhat of a yearly tradition. Third year in a row, our 10 favorite things from 2022 to give you guys a couple of gift ideas for your loved ones, friends, or like yourself, because let's be honest. Quick disclaimer, some of the items in this video may have been gifted to us, from a past partnership. Most of them we bought ourselves. Just know that everything in this video are things that we use and love, which is why it made our top 10 things for 2022. And take it away, Chris. It's a kettle. F this. Ooh. Okay, the first thing on our list is an ember mug. Now, these things have been around for a while. I actually bought this for Chris two years ago and just recently started using it. And I have to say it's quickly become my favorite work companion. I take forever to drink coffee or tea or whatever. It sits on the desk for like two hours. I brought the coaster to my desk and now my coffee sits hot for a couple of hours and it just prolongs my enjoyment of a caffeinated beverage. Oh, by the way, all the links to the things I talk about in today's video are linked on our blog, beckyandchris.com slash blog in the description box. Speaking of hot beverages, if you or your loved ones are into coffee, then consider picking up a trade coffee subscription. Is this, this don't, is like a- Don't open it, don't open it. I know you're gonna pour it all over the place and I'm dying to try those beans. Bean juice. I have been paying for the trade subscription for a number of years now. Beans show up on the doorstep as little or as often as I want. So I'm a big fan, to be honest with you. And you can customize what they send you as well based on your taste. I am a basic ass and I just like regular coffee with like no citrus. I just want coffee to taste like coffee. So I have the most plain vanilla customization in my subscription. Third thing on my list, on the topic of hot beverages, we're really into hot bevs in this house, is the fellow kettle. Oh, ow! <laughs> It's sharp. I have the pour over kettle. I've had it for a couple of years. I absolutely love it for making coffee. They also have our super cute stovetop tea kettle, which I'm planning on purchasing when we get to the cabin project. Fellow makes beautiful things. I also have their pour over set, which I'm obsessed with. And that's basically how I make all my coffee now that my espresso machine is broken. Um, and this coffee came from a Keurig. So number four on the list is the Sony Link Buds S. Now I was gifted these at Sony Condo. I'll be honest with you, I was a little bit reluctant. I didn't think that they were gonna be better than the AirPods, but oh my God, I'm obsessed with them. They have amazing noise cancellation. They fit in your ears nice. And they also have like a ambient noise thing. So if you're anyone who's going for a walk, or a jog alone. It's nice to be able to listen to music, but then also be able to hear everything that's around you. That's a huge concern of mine when I go out by myself. I do not like to not be able to hear if there's someone or something behind me. These headphones, you can have noise canceling when you're traveling. You can have that ambient noise control on if you're walking by yourself, or even if you're with somebody else. Link Buds S, 10 out of 10 recommend. Are you serious? Next thing on the list, You've heard me talk about these are the ProMaster photo gloves. Now they have two different kinds, one that's more of like a knit version and then one that's more of a winter glove version. I have both. They just gifted me the knit version. I haven't used them yet, but they feel amazing. So I'm super excited. The little fingers come down, keep your fingers warm. 10 out of 10. Everything's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, 10 things, 10 of our favorite things that are 10 out of 10. The next thing on our list is a backup battery. Now we have the Anchor Powerhouse 545. There's not sponsored, purchase this for our helicopter series heading north. Link up here if you haven't checked that out yet. It has been absolutely amazing for off-grid camping. Definitely gonna be using it for car camping. They also have a larger capacity one. This one is just like the perfect size for us where it's small, compact, fits in the helicopter, fits in the car, but has a decent capacity to charge batteries for a couple of days off grid. Spooky. Daiquiri makes a version and Goal Zero make a version. There are all sorts of options out there for you if that's something that you would be interested in picking up for yourself or as a gift for somebody else. This next one is a Vessel first aid kit. This is actually a customized piece that I put together on the Vessel website for my truck. Truck kit, but make it aesthetic. So I added the flashlight, there's trail marking tape in there, there's a little first aid kit. Little things that I think that I could need, say if I got stranded somewhere. What's in these things? Are you gonna look on these? Yes, dingus. This stays in the truck. It's got a little flashlight in there, which is really great. Always recommend having a flashlight on you. Plus it's matte black, so it looks super cool. This is definitely a little bit of an eclectic list because we're all over the place with hot beverages and backup batteries and gloves and earphones. My next item is more of a productivity item. It's the Ugg Monk Analog Starter Kit. Make it rain good! Seriously? Are those in order? I am obsessed with this. It's basically like a daily to-do list planner. 
So I will take my daily to-do list, physically write them down on this thing, have it displayed on my desk, and I can easily reference all the things I have to do during the day, check them off. I'm a really big fan of physically crossing things off a list. Second last thing on my list is a giant heating pad. Heating cape. If you have the pain parts and you like a little bit of heat, a giant heating pad is absolutely amazing. I love it for when I'm on the dirty, let's be honest. A lot of pain happens then. Cramps, back pain, sometimes I'm just cold. Giant heating pad, I bought this last year and honestly it is the best. Sometimes I just put it on when I'm just cold because it covers like from just below my tits over my naughty bits. Nice and warm, but it's really great if you have back pain, cramps, any kind of pain, neck pain, I put it over my neck. Warmth, comfort, giant heating pad. Everyone needs one. Also, it's this like plushy, soft, like fabric. It's not like the prettiest, it's kind of like ugly. Really cozy, if you got the pain. The last thing, oh God, I gotta sneeze. Look at the light, look at the light. Oh, okay. The last thing on my list is the Meter Wireless Smart Meat Thermometer. And if you guys follow us on Instagram, you know we've been doing a lot of cooking. We got a Kamado Joe, we've been smoking a lot of meats, big cuts of meat. You better wash that before you put in our next meat. You're gonna cook. And the Bluetooth meat thermometers are such a game changer in making sure that your meat is perfectly cooked. So we have the meter block that has the four probes in it. And so they all like connect to your phone via Bluetooth. You can track your cook. It tells you the internal temperature of your meat, the temperature of your smoker. Super handy if you're doing long cooks, like if you got a brisket on overnight and you're sleeping. The block is definitely a little bit expensive so if you're into cooking meat and you don't want to fully commit to the four piece block, they do have single thermometers as well. And they're really handy if you're doing any amount of large cooking. You can even use them in the oven too if you're doing like prime ribs, if you're doing turkeys, pork butts, anything like that. Meter, wireless, Bluetooth probe, probe, what a gross word. So that is 10 of our favorite things that we've been compiling over the last year. And if there's nothing on this list that tickles your fancy, we actually have two more holiday videos from last year and 2020, which I'll link up here and then the description box in case you want 20 more suggestions on things to give to your loved ones. And I'll also note that we have a couple of items in our home decor shop still. If you wanna support our channel, you can consider checking that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, happy holidays to you. We have one more video coming out before we tap out for the holiday season and take a much needed couple of weeks rest. And I'll catch you on the next one. What are you doing? Are you eating the fucking Christmas balls? Smelling.